Hi guys, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design and I am working in my Project Life 2016 album today. This is week 37 and so if you follow me and um, you were hanging around last week, I did weeks 36 and 38 because they were single page layouts and then I needed to go back and finish up week 37. So that's what I'm working on here, and I am working with the Allie Edwards Me Story Kit. Um, and that's my cat. <laughs> anyway, so I'm using the Me Story Kit, and um, I'm sort of a, a little bit bittersweet today. I think that this will probably be the last Project Life process video for this year that I can bring to you. Um, December Daily will be kicking off next week for the actual month. Um, so this will be it for this year. And then in January, after December Daily is all done and completed, then I'll get back into finishing um, my Project Life 2016 album. Um, I think after this week, there's still about six more weeks that I'm going to do. I'm going to go until about week 43 or 44. Um, usually just another week after Halloween. Um, and then I end it. Um, so, and I also, this is probably, um, well, I think I decided that for next year, I'm going to try some different subscriptions. So this will probably be the last um, Allie Edwards story kit that I will work with for a while, not forever. Um, I decided that I wanted to try some other subscription kits, and um, I think that we should do that. There's so many awesome kits out there. Um, I don't know which ones I'm planning to sign up for yet, um, but I'm ready. I've been a Gossamer Blue subscri subscriber for about three years, and so I'm ready to, to try something different in that kind of kit. Um, I subscribed to Allie's kits, mostly for the stamp sets. Um, so I'm going to look for something different in that regard. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. You'll start seeing some new things in January. But um, I, have, I think I have some exciting plans coming up, and I'm excited about what's, what's coming in the new year. I'm ready to jump into December Daily full-time. That will be probably all that I will be sharing in the month of December. And then... Um, in January, I get back into Project Life and the other projects that I enjoy bringing to you guys. Um, so the layout at hand is um, it's a layout I created in the Project Life app. I used all the digital elements and cards from Allie Edwards' Me Story Kit. Um, that I keep stored in my Dropbox, and then I bring them into the Project Life app, just like you would bring in a photo. And um, there are a couple, I think, maybe one or two that I made myself. And then I'm embell to embellish the layout, I'm using um, some Simple Stories Posh and some of the Pink Fresh Studio um, Indigo Hills collection. Um, I really like the the pinkish border, and there was some of that pink in the Me Story Kit, and then some of the yellows um, spoke to me in in the journaling cards and in both of these collections. So um, you'll see just a combination. And then I also brought in two washi tapes that are from Angie, Amy, I'm sorry, they're from Amy Tangerine. Um, they're just the narrow washi strips from Oh Happy Life, I think. Um, and I use those for my journaling lines. Um, so that's something that I like to do. And the, so um, I'll just tell you a little bit about what was going on during that week. Um, there were some exciting things that happened that week. Um, this is when I, well, Alan and I went on a date night, and so there's a photo of that. And um, 
there were just some random pictures that of, of things that I just wanted to document and wanted to keep. And then um, I also, this was the week that I found out that I would be a part of the Celine Studio um, creative team. And which for me actually is um, is something that I was really excited about. And I wanted to include that um, just professionally because that was a big deal. Um, it was something that was completely unexpected. And um, so there's definitely a place for that. I love that the Project Life layouts allow you to to give a place for random photos but then they suddenly have a context. Um, and so there's a photo of our daughter in Berlin. She's playing with Zoe. And um, I journaled about that, that um, most of the time on Saturdays we go grocery shopping. And then when we come back, she always Zoe always comes and checks out what we brought home. And if we brought home their cat food, then she helps, in quotation marks, she helps put it away. Um, so Emberlyn's working on that, and Zoe's helping her. It's just a cute little moment. And then there's also um, there's these these couple of stuffed animals that live in our bedroom. And um, Natalie decided that the polar bear needed these turquoise glasses. Um, and it was just one of those things that I just was walking by randomly and saw it and was like, well, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, so anyway... <laughs> I love it. They the the glasses don't have any lenses in them. I don't know where they came from. They've just been playing with them off and on. So now the polar bear wears them. Um now that one three by four card with the pieces of my life, um, I created that. That is actually um if I'm remembering correctly, I brought in a plain white journaling or plain white card from the Project Life app and then I brought in the pieces of my life digital PNG on top of it directly into the Project Life app um, and so it doesn't let you manipulate the size or anything it's just gonna boom place it there um, so that's what that looks like when you do that if you're curious about trying that um, so, I don't know, it's kind of bold, but I kind of like it. So, um, I'm going to move on to the next, to the right-hand side here. And um, I'm just working with some of the, the chipboard elements that were part of the Posh collection from Simple Stories. I really like those. They come in a 6 by 12 sheet. And I just pop them out of the chipboard because they're usually kind of loose in there. Um, so I just pop them out and keep them with my die cut ephemera all together because I'm going to layer them. When I use them, I'm going to layer them anyway. So I sort of did. On I like these, these lines here. I love finding new ways to... Um, create journaling lines on our journaling cards and I really liked this pink one that I'm working on right here um, that was a fun way to make journaling lines and then I capitalized on that and used those little blocks of color to stamp on and also to put um, some of the stickers on so they just alternate on that card I felt like I had um, I felt like I had enough journaling already so this just became a filler or sort of embellishment card these um, word strips of course always go well on these Project Life layouts um, and the arrows. <laughs> I really liked these chipboard circles came in the Allie Edwards kit. Um, they were a lot of fun to use and I really liked the colors here. Um, I, now 
we're sort of transitioning into fall on this layout, but it was still pretty warm here. Um, we don't we get we get fall really late here in North Carolina, so I didn't really even though I'm using fall products. Um, Indigo Hills is definitely a fall collection. <laughs> it's a beautiful fall collection, and um, Posh is a pretty mu pretty much a fall collection too. But the layout itself, because there's so much pink and yellow, um, it does not feel like a fall layout, and I'm I'm totally cool with that. Um, I think you should use whatever colors you like, and if it's if it's a fall layout and you want it to look like fall, then you should do that. If you don't want it to look like fall, you don't have to. Um, yeah, so this one is not a fall layout. <laughs> All right, and I, um, I, these two journaling cards on this side, they're really meant for list-type journaling. And um, I, I, I do a little bit of, list type journaling but not a lot um so I did I did list on the lower one the I am card um and then I'll be doing a list on this card as well I'm going to use the um the words here they it would be fun if they if the stamps lined up with the word currently but they didn't but I worked around it um I just sort of masked off masked off the words that I wanted to use so that's what the um the white paper is there, it's just my mask. And so I did actually do a list here um, for once. <laughs> and so if you want to read um, or learn more about what I journaled about on these, be sure to check out my blog at larkindesign.squarespace.com. Um, backslash blog. There's always an accompanying blog post with every video that I create. And so then you, sh you can hear more about my thought process and see the close-up photos. Um, now I debated here on whether to add washi tape. And I decided not to and I stamped instead. Um, this stamp is from Paige Evans' um, Take Me Away collection. It's just the roller phrase stamp, and there's some um, some icons, hearts and X's and arrows, and there's a little floral element. I didn't use the floral element. Um, yeah, so that was fun. And then I'm going to sort of toss around and see what if I want to add anything else to this, I'm debating about this um, Love This card. That's another one where I just made a white canvas and then brought in the digital element itself. Just very simple. And then I found the little tiny chipboard hearts in the Posh collection. Um, so I decided to put those down. Yeah. Just three in a couple of different colors. And then that's going to pretty much wrap up this layout. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, I do hope to hear from you. I hope that you will like and comment and subscribe to my channel. And then I will see you back here soon. And we're going to dive back into December daily and December albums here in the next couple of days. So stay tuned and I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.